Hello everybody, Heroes of the Greeks here with the final tutorial uh, for uh, yeah, Planet 2, at least tutorials in the game. So thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to start with Panda Park. Uh, tomorrow on Monday we'll have another part for the um, uh, Maple Leaf Wildlife Park, which one we're going to finish. So if you have enjoyed that, thank you for watching and let's go into Panda Park. Panda Park is Bernard Godwin's newest zoo, built from the ground up to celebrate the panda in all its forms. This park represents an imperiled opportunity to show the world just how much Godwin Foundation knows about breeding animals and the gusts of endangerment. So, not squand do do so do not squander it. Alright, let's go. Let's see what this game holds. The park looks really good, so a safari park in the career mode so that's like in possibly the fourth episode on that so um sub if you want to see more of that as well as the tutorials so uh, we might do some tutorials for front line mode with how to start off of but i already got my sort of a franchise mode started for myself but i would like a small franchise park that you can really make like quite a lot of money uh like i built one up um, with a friend i was playing with a friend like building like a sort of a a leaf spark where I could get my animals from and such um, in that regard so but that's for that so that's what we could do on the channel here of course but holy shit damn applause for the park looks really good ah, pandas <laughs> and they're my daughter's favorite animal <laughs> I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination it's pandas Oh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> oh, but did you know, thanks to the incredible conservation Holy work shit. that's being done in China and around the world, <laughs> pandas are no longer endangered. Huh? <laughs> Amazing. That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It really speaks to our reputation, a reputation that you're gonna be in charge of maintaining, along with all the uh, general maintaining too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. This is a really good looking Eyes park. The world around you, my friend. Although, <laughs> Perhaps more pressingly, the eyes of Nancy are on you too. <laughs> Welcome to All China. Right. This is Bernie's brand new panda celebration zoo. So new, in fact, that it's not quite finished. But we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. Mm. Oh, this is, look at this, it looks absolutely insane. And this is the entrance. Huh. <laughs> garials. Not bad either. Some garials, they look cool. Over here we got the Okapis. Jeez, they got a large exhibit. Okay. Oh, they are. Oh, they have like an. Uh. Got to some tape here. So here Obviously we got the, the pandas. Giant pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at it. Go oh. on, don't uh. be shy. Select the panda cub. And click on the camera to enter animal oh. camera mode. Oh, doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? So <laughs> cute! Did you know that giant pandas, or Ailaropoda melanoleuca, for being formal, are the only entirely herbivorous bears? They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. Not that surprising, given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluff ball has that kind of appetite yet, though. Mmm, that looks really good. Look at that. Oh no. 
I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first, and that they're displaying signs of disease. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To Which do one? That, go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information this panel. One. Um You mean this one, right? Good. Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. Um I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Um Okay, ah, uh, you have to do that yourself. Okay, interesting. Oh, phew. That's a relief. Now that we've stopped the infection from spreading any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. Hmm. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it, so why don't we head over there? Oh, uh, where is that? And there. <laughs> oh, In order dang. to build the vet surgery, click on facilities, staff facilities, and then vet surgeries. Mm, this one, right? Yeah. <sighs> Come on. You kidding? Can I not do that like nice? Okay, sure. <sighs> That's dumb. Why can I not do that like normal? Why? Oh. Fine. If you really want to make it look ugly, sure. I don't mind. Is that how you want? That's the job. Vet surgeries play a very important role Where is in the that? zoo, as they're the only oh. places that vets can treat the animals. Once there's room for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Hmm. Yes, diseases can spread through a habitat quite easily, especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. As it happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. No, oh, no really. This really small this not quite you, so you should go and check it out. <laughs> this is definitely an impersonational zoo how you would like to build some stuff. Holy shit. <laughs> That's insane. Uh Whoa, that one is big. Oh, no, that one is quite big, but I must still say, uh, I think I said it before, I think the saltwater crocodiles are really, really small. <laughs> I don't think they're that big. Yeah, like, they're, like, this possibly would be sub adult size, that would be like be female size, and males males will be far bigger, like, it would be like that size. If you, I've seen before, I already have done that, so don't, don't be such annoying. Okay. This one, you mean, right? Come on, I already have clicked it. Oh. Come on, Nancy. I already have clicked upon it several times. All right, do Click I have to on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel? Ah, uh, cool. Mechanic. All right, I've done that. Yes, I don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed. Begin researching. Call mechanic to get them to come over and fix it for us. So, just to explain, water treatment facilities work in a similar manner to this power one, right? sources, in that they have a radius of influence around them. That means mm. any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. Also, like power sources, if they get damaged, that radius of influence will shrink, meaning that it might stop cleaning water sources which were only just within its reach. If you want to check how much of your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, then there's a heat map you can use to see the coverage. That way, you can quickly spot problem areas and rectify the issue. Lovely job. Once that research is complete, I expect to we'll send workshop. that disease packing uh -huh. in no time. Okay, so this is the that, so we don't, we're not going to build like much. So I think Ooh. it's going to be. That was a close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't got them into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast thinking there. We had a horrible outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily. <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. Mm. Right. 
Now that we've got all our urgent tasks in hand, we can start to focus on the guests and improving their time in the park. You see, you can also do research into new and improved guest facilities, transport rides as well as new types of barrier and other things via the workshop. I've highlighted the workshop for you, so head over there, select it, and then click on View Workshop. And finally, assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Great stuff. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Because we've had some good news! It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. The authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. So open up Animal Trading and go into the Animal Reward section. Finally, we can send them from Animal Storage to Quarantine. To do that, just select them in Animal Storage, then click Send to Zoo, and then click on the Quarantine Facility in the Zoo. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. I have never done that before. Never! <laughs> like, I don't think it matters, but I have never done that before at all. While we wait to clear Quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so they feel um. at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? <laughs> so go on, move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. Uh, yeah, sure, let's move. At a feeding scene in Richmond, okay, um, let's start at least starting the bold that then. Uh, uh, species, giant pandas. Well, that's one of the speech that I'm going to do in my own uh, let's play for... Uh, what was it? Um... It does not like to actually need the water, but okay. Let's go and use it anyway. <laughs> um, I suppose you also need some bedding, right? Oh, they actually need an Aboro platform for feeding. Alright, let's also place down some bedding in there inside enclosures. Although that has already been done, so we don't need to do that. Alright, are you. What well, are you doing? Is the panda inside? Where's the panda? Panda! Where are you, little one? Or one? Big one, I suppose. You're in the middle. <laughs> Ah, come on, where are you? I know you're in IT already. Why are you then? Ah, there he is. Alright, let's go. Ooh. Ah, great. There are some plans that are not uh, good for him. Seems like it. I'm not seeing them just yet. So. Um. I think that those are plants over here, so we might have to leave that for now. But I definitely want. Mm, can do some rock around here, I suppose. Like one part all rocky. Over here. A little bit of extra soil, maybe over here. All right.
more short grass and then let's go to nature and I go to buy him taiga is supposed uh, right no, temperate only and I'm content Asia Pandas have been given a clean bill of health. You'd best move them into the new habitat so they can settle in. <sighs> and I hope you've made Annoying. their habitat as comfy as possible. Because animals will only breed if they're happy. Alright, that seems to us fine. Not yet quite planned, but... Um... Oh... Move him. So what's here? Oh, bless. I think they'll be really happy in there. Fingers crossed we'll see some lovely new cubs sooner ah. rather than later. Right. Uh, well, give new habit a panda in the zoom. Oh, else. we're going to do that. Okay. There's never any time to rest when you're running a zoo, is there? All right, so we have to go and get a new workshop? Unless you hit the pause button. Okay, I think it's time I taught you all about work zones. Mm -hmm. I know. They don't sound as interesting as the animals, but trust me, they're ever so useful. You see, work zones are a way of making sure that your staff concentrate on specific habitats or tasks within the zoo, so they aren't wandering off elsewhere when it's time to feed the animals or the like. Yeah. Whew. All right. So let's start by creating a new work zone and then assigning a keeper to it so that they know to look after the new pandas. To do that, Go into the zoo section, then click on staff, and then work zones. Yeah, I already have done that. Now, no. click on new work zone. New work zone, sure. And um, this one, right? To set up your new work zone, I'll need you to select the highlighted habitat gate, staff room, and keeper hut. Oh, and, uh, and don't forget to name it something useful. <laughs> Once you're done, just go ahead and exit the work zone creator. Work zone, uh, pan. Now let's hire a Panda new town and assign them to our new work zone. Town. We don't want them getting distracted by other goings on in the zoo. But go on, hire one. Oh. Okay. Then click on your new keeper to bring up their information panel and go to their employment tab. Ah. Oh. At the bottom, you can assign them to your new work zone from the drop-down menu. Collect some research, I suppose. There you go. Uh, now your keeper will focus his attention on our new pandas. Oh, and just so you know, all types of staff can be assigned work zones. Mm. Just make sure that they have access to all the buildings that they need. And one last thing, you might find it faster to assign them from the work zones tab in the staff section of zoo management. That'll save you having to chase around selecting your staff one by one. Oh, it sounds like the brand research has been completed. You should collect your rewards. And you can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into mechanic research. There we go. And then we're going to... Now that we've got our lovely new Just a Memento shop designed, you should build one of them near the zoo's exit. Oh. That way the guests won't miss it on their way out and we won't miss out on their money. Ah, yeah. was an absolutely awful place, but okay. Facilities, and now we go to guest facilities, right? And then we go towards which one is that? Just Monty. Where is that one? No. Yeah. Why can I not? Okay, so in the in the previous let's play in the previous tutorial, we could just like also click them, but now that's no longer possible. Now we have to be going to do the really difficult. All right, fine. Oh, that's ever so wonderful, that is. Anyway, I'm just off for a moment, but I'm sure I'll have some more jobs for you to look at shortly. Bye. Oh God, 18 species. <laughs> 
Those pandas look just adorable. <laughs> I can see why people keep foolishly forgetting that they're wild bears. And good work on that new gift shop branding. Just a memento. <laughs> Very clever. Much better than our old overpriced gifts branding. <laughs> I'm all for truth in advertising, but it was perhaps a little <laughs> on the nose. Huh. Back yeah. as promised. Right. I'd like you to increase the number of different species in the zoo. Now, you can find out what species are already in your zoo by going into the zoo section and then into the animals area. And if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in, then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space and create interesting habitats. Just make sure to check the Zoopedia to find out which species enjoy living together. E.g. don't mix lions with antelopes. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I don't, I don't think of war dogs yet. We don't have peafowls yet. Uh, we already have those guys. We don't have those guys yet. We don't have the oh, giant pandas. Yep. Red pandas, we're going to go, more, go make an exhibit for. Right, let's go get those done. I suppose at least I think that there were not yet any giant pandas. Or red pandas, sorry. Um, so let's go to zoo and I'm gonna go to animal trading. Uh, at least I have a check before we get them. But I don't need. Damn it! They already have it. Okay, so which animals they don't have yet? I know that they, they had any antelope, right? No, they didn't need those. Alright, um, animals trading. Okay, what are we going to get? Well, we can do those antelope, we can get the bears. I don't think they have, they don't have wolves yet. I suppose let's go and get some antelope. Uh huh, animal trading. Let's move toward there. Right, that's one. And then we're also. Okay, which one we... I don't think they had like beers yet, right? They didn't have any beers. And this is like a perfect... Oh. Okay, I already have a conclusion for them. It shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, what is also like the idea that we also have to do? I don't know. Why is it so difficult? Doesn't make much sense, but okay. Alright, what's the beers exhibit? Um, what do you guys want as well? Uh, more terrain, they definitely want more soil. Alright, perfect. Um, plants, they seem to be already all good. They've got enough plants, they only need some habitation. 
So let's go towards species and then por Pronk horn? Is it pronk? Pronk horn? Pronk horn? Antelope. Send. Alright then, well with that, um, let's also go over here, edit this barrier part, uh, oh no, Alrighty. Okay, that's not done at least the beginning, like for the uh, sleeping area for the peers. These guys, I think, are fine. They got basically everything they want. So that's great. Let's also go to the zoo and let's go and get two black peers. Right? I'm pretty sure they don't have those ones yet. Alright, am I correct though? Do, uh, am I correct in that assess assignment? Assessment. Oh, the assignment assessment is right yeah I'm pretty sure um let's go <laughs> aha a really good female you a good male why not okay then um then we need like one more animal I would space I'm correct Alright, 16 species. If we have the bears inside, then we'll have like one more. Um, do we have yeah, some kind of exhibit animals? We can, yeah, we could go and get one of those, I suppose. Right, go somewhere over here. Right here! Okay, well, well we have found it, our idea that we're going to place down an exhibit animal. First, go to facility though. Um, small exhibit. Come on. Why are you getting out of that one? Facility. Nah. Really? Ah, bastards. Okay, then. Eh, uh, well. Uh, this is the East Asian one, so um, where are we going to place that? Um, actually, I have got the perfect plan. Place for it. Anacondas, Brazilian, um, giant forest. Let's go for the giant uh, forest. Humble the bumble is into you. Into I'm this sure one. you know by now ah. how to make your animals happy. So you'd best get that sorted before the inspector gets you. Sorry, did I not mention there was an inspector coming? Oh, oh dear. 
you give me the teeny phones? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, eh? Hey. Um, at least this one. Oh yeah, of course the water. Uh, let's go to facilities and build a uh, water filter. Why is the path so iffy? Okay, really, why, why only there? Okay. <sighs> ah, come on. That's like saying, <laughs> be annoyed. <laughs> come on. Why does that be so difficult? You can't. Okay. Finally. Well, that was a whole lot of worry for what? Mm -hmm. 85, I suppose only these guys do need. Okay, what is your habitat? Tropical and temperate. Well, let's go for nature and let's keep it a bit temperate Asian. And I'll need some more coverage. I would say so, yeah, of course you have enough. You need quite a lot, don't you? But this is always good, so a big tree. Couple of uh, those ones. I really have to set that off, don't I? Especially when you. Oh. Ah, there. Okay, great. Let's go for a rock. I'm going to make this all rocky. Okay, um, now we also have to go and get enrichment for them, and then we're almost done. I suppose maybe the, well it's the scorpions are not too happy yet, but let's go to habitat, and I suppose species, what is it? Um, Himalayan, now we need to have a brown beard, the black, mm, what is it? Oh, Formation black beard, what a name. Oh, what? What now? What animal has escaped? Uh, what? Oh, of course. May I? Uh, um, yeah, I know. Yeah, please go back in into your own exhibit. Yeah, go, please. Thank you. All right, uh, let's try and increase it on a little. Cause they're annoying. Uh, 
Perfect. That should be any more cases. Uh, habitat should be fine. And it is, so that's great. Um, Let's go to water. No, not water. Habitat, and then all of those ones, I suppose. Uh, large food tray. Uh, scratch. Scratch. Scratching post. Scent. Some of those. Yeah, there's lucky like most of the beers like have the same thing, so it makes quite a lot of sense. Alright, and you, I suppose, are really unhappy that I'm correct. No, I just want to take. No. Ah, exit. Leave me be. I just want to know. Just, just that. Oh, God damn it. Only that one. Alright. Uh, layouts. Still not moist enough. Oh, there's no power. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go and get. Facilities, we don't have any power here. Ah, oh, come on, be a bit more nice to me. Just say yes that I can place it down. Yeah! Yeah, perfect. A perfect home. Okay, come on. <sighs> Why? Okay, thank you. A little bit more humidity uh, than the temperature has to go up like 22. And then the layout, we don't have you reset that yet. Windows though, 3 3. Okay, perfect. Uh huh, and then, yeah, off the sides can be like that. We'll also go over here and put down. Not in the mood. <laughs> ah, yeah. Nope. Okay, fine. Uh, at least that's done. Uh, the <laughs> okay, so we need like nine digits and are not happy then. I suppose these guys, because they're like not in a great area, because they need like more habitats. So, exhibit. Um, or is it like habitat species? So, like these are. Um, so that might not count. So which animals are not happy with their habitats? Um, I'm pretty sure this guy is in, in, in a box for far too long. Why? I don't know. There is. He just is. Yo, Dolbra. Oh, you do, you're not definitely not in a great exhibit. So let's go and change it up a bit. Let's get you some more short, or too much short grass. And far more sand. And too few long grass. Well, that's fixed. Um, that's one exhibit more done. Uh, the flamingo is possibly not alright. No, the coverage is too much, actually. That should fix it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, the rest is also fine. The crocodiles, the water ones. Ah, uh, fine with that. Uh, but that is more than good enough. Like 99%. Uh, these guys. I don't think these guys will be happy enough. I thought so. Snow. Uh, of course, they want snow. Let's go to habitat. And then. Cooler. And let's put down some snow. I would say that doesn't make much sense that they want that, but okay. No animal wants to be in snow, except like polar bears who actually needed to hunt. <laughs> uh huh, they don't have enough. Oh. Also fix that up. Still at 85%. Oh, yeah. It's weird. How the clean is it at least? This one is that, but this ones are these ones are fine now, right? 
81 heart shelter. We could just increase that a little. I was hoping that they would have like more of these. They should. Uh, let's go down, architecture and on roofs. Why don't you have hay? Alright, fine. If you do this, it should like fix that. In theory, it should. Nothing special, but it fixes it, so. Unbox <laughs> all the animals. Uh, box animal, and that should be fine. They are good. They find their exhibit more than good enough. What? No. No, no, no. Uh uh. No. That's a lie. You little bastard. Yeah, of course, and it's not fine. What? What's this for crap? Is it not like connected in the entire. Sp ah, that's annoying. Alright, let's try and pull it a bit up and um, again. Mm. Stupid, but okay. Ah! No, it's never. Oh! This is definitely more. This is definitely big enough. I can I do not believe that there's not enough space. Like, he, he's also like not counting the. This. So. I don't really know why that is, because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, entire space uh, in terrain, yeah, like, but like I said, like uh, he just is not able to get around from here. That's the portal problem. Ooh, you idiots! You freaking idiots! Thank you so much for being such an idiot. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, can you now move around enough again? No, still not. Oh, of course you can't. Oh, why would you be nice to me and just to be okay? Yeah, you're totally correct. We have, I have a perfect exhibit where I can move around everywhere without any trouble. But nope. Come on. Can I really be like can I be can I move around here? They're actually climbing beer, so that is more ironic. <laughs> but they actually cannot move around here, so perfect, of course, but not great for me. I know good. Is it fine? I thought so. Thank you. Terrain, yeah, they need some more soil. But that's normal because I was changing that up. Alright, perfect. Okay, um, that's that, so, go to zoo, and I go to animals, and then we go to welfare, all the flamingos, 
It would be so nice if you could take a look at oh habitats. Habitat. Which habitats aren't correct? These guys I think have a more than good habitats. They are fine with that. I thought I'd give you food. But they're not being fed. Alright, perfect. Uh, let's actually hire some extra zookeeper so they can keep them uh, fed and such. Hopefully that works. Okay, which animal is in here? Because I'm pretty happy guessing that these ones aren't got... They are fine, okay. But like they have all of these that are not good. Ah, <sighs> alright, which animals are not good? Yeah, I suppose I'm, I'm pretty... I'm more than just guessing that that are the... Um, the damn... These guys that are great or doing not good. Ones that are in an exhibit. But all, most of the times, more or less the uh, ones that are not happy. Quite a lot of the times. So stop with you and you're going to get the other. Although I'm not sure where they are. Um, habitats. No buildings. Uh huh. Is that in? No. Just great. You cannot see which animal welfare. Perfect. Oh. <sighs> Zoo. Animals. Oh, no. Um. Can't do that. Okay, perfect. Exhibit. Uh -huh. Why cannot go to that? Uh, why can I not? Why is there not like sort of mechanic? Oh my god! Why? Am I? Oh, this is really annoying. Ugh. Well, I'm going to try and fix it on my own because that is going to be just yeah a bit of a struggle. So uh, I will be back when I fix that. Well, everyone, uh, we're now at. 89% I I'm not sure which animal is not okay with its environment like I've been uh, trying to find the one but uh, I'm now not in the mood of going to the entire zoo and basically removing every last one of those uh, perks I don't know that that possibly maybe the they're all quite happy like there's not even any problem like with the Flamingos, they don't have necessarily a bad enclosure or something like that. They are fine, they have more enough space. They're, there's like no problem at all. Like, and yeah, there is not really any animal that's like unhappy with the enclosure. So, this one either. The, the players are good. They're, yeah, some of them just don't have the correct plan. So, really? Oh, well. This, this might just do it. It might tip us over the edge in the overall coverage. With your plans, am I correct? No. No, like there's like still a few animals that have like not the correct plans in it. And quite a lot of are these annoying ferns. Like the, the Gary Olds exhibit is like full with these, uh, what is it? Like full with the, the moss. Like these guys aren't too happy with it, but. Yeah, I'm not going to get try and do this because I already have been doing that and, and that's really tedious and I rather wouldn't do that all the time. So, um, instead of doing that, I think, I, um, yeah, it is mostly of two and a half, we already got four. Uh, that doesn't seem to be difficult, but I have to get it to 90 and at some point I begin at my own time and I want to do that. I possibly will, maybe, do we? The last layout thing already? Yeah, we already have that as well, so... It's not like there's anything that we haven't done. Like, most of the animals are up fine, there's no real problem with their exhibits and such. Terrain is fine for them as well. Like, they're, they're, they're this like only the plants, but I am not in the mood to go and change all the plants out. Uh, that is going to take me a bit too long and I am rather spend some time on something else so I think going to leave it here I possibly at some point I will go back and try and get it to gold but um, like they only have to go and place uh, buildings to increase gas for the happiness but I think the happiness is 
actually four stars so and we needed that in total so that that shouldn't be too difficult if we like only if that in one percent increasement we should be fine but i'm not going to try and do that right now i'm really not in the mood to try and get another uh maybe exhibit animal or something to get that up but i suppose we could do that but then i have to go and reset that also again and eh, um that doesn't scare me too much to do that, uh, but okay, wait, do not, let's just do that, uh, I'll be back in a second, and hopefully, hopefully, we will have, uh, enough, I am, I'm not going to give up, though, I'm just going to try and do it now, but, still, a bit annoying, alright, go to zoo, uh, exhibit trading, I'm a cake, a bow, a constrictor, nothing special, to put him in here, and hoping, hope, let's hope, um, okay, right now it's gone down quite a lot, like 80%, but I'm hoping that putting in, like, getting this one to 100%, Fat Research, you, there's the boa, you go, get the boa, get him, um, alright, that is better already, I'm already at 99, so I hope when we have this one in the better order, uh, we might be able to do it. So um, let's start. Let's give it give it the highs up. Uh, let's fast forward a bit, and I'll be back in a second when we hopefully have everything we need for the boa. Well, I tried. This guy is now 100%, but no, this keeps on 89, and I am not going to go every exhibit getting all the tedious plans out. I'm not going to do that, but. Uh, you know what would happen, we have to just place down some guest happiness and then get a super board of 2.5 that I think is more than doable, so... I hope you enjoyed it, that was the last and final tutorial for um, Planet Zoo, I think it gives you quite a little bit of an idea of how to play the game and what the mechanics are in. Um, I think what you might would like is a bit more, I don't know, building tutorials, how you could like, build, I don't know. Like try and build an mm. like so and so an exhibit or like an um hard shelter and stuff. So you could you also challenge to um try and build some um hard exhibits or something like that, some buildings for your buildings. Uh, but that's maybe for later. I don't know. But that's something I think would be recommended. But I think for now. Uh, for the opening of the game and what you are supposed to do is I think these three exhibit three tutorials more than good enough so um, if you want to take a look on them again I will have played this on the channel for those of you that are interested in that and this was the third and final put, um, tutorial for Planet Suit thank you for watching and uh, playing me with me with the tutorial so again if you want to see more don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the, and the notification bell so you can keep up to date my latest videos. So again, thank you for watching. Have a great day and I see you all in the next one. Bye bye.